Hey, what's up everybody? Dennis the Prescott here. Every now and again, you come across a dish that absolutely changes your life. I had this dish maybe 10 or 12 years ago in England when I was a musician recording a record there. Today, we're gonna do it a little different. We're gonna put it on the grill. I'm super excited. We're making chicken tikka. All right, so chicken tikka, super popular all over the world. Traditionally, you cook it in a tandoor oven. It's a really cool oven that you find all over India and of course now all over the world. My version might not be absolutely traditional, but it's my take on this dish. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna put that chicken on a smoky Traeger grill so it's gonna get infused with all that wood-fired goodness while it cooks. Okay, so first up, marinade time. The marinade for this recipe is the rock star. I mean, the rock star is the final dish, but this is super important. The marinade helps to break down the chicken as it marinades in the fridge for like 12, 24 hours. Really, 24 is best case scenario. You can do it for less, but it's just not gonna be as delicious. It's super delicious and well worth taking the time. The yogurt and the lemon juice help to break down and tenderize the chicken, and all of the spices get in there, and it's just ugh, it's so, so, Good, we are gonna do this with chicken drumsticks today. Normally it'd be chicken thighs or chicken breast on a skewer, but we're gonna do it a little differently. It is gonna be out of sight. Grab your food processor. To that, we're gonna add some yogurt. Try not to get the super, super thick stuff. Kind of that creamy, delicious yogurt is best. We've got some diced onion, about half an onion. We've got garlic and fresh ginger. A lot of garlic, garlic is delicious in this. We're gonna go in with a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna hit this with some nice lemon juice. Fresh squeezed is always best, of course. We've got a nice pinch of salt in here, and really the hero is this spice. I don't know if, this smells incredible and I'm, it's, it's done nothing yet. It's just sitting here in this little plate. We've got garam masala, we've got paprika, we've got turmeric, coriander, chili, cumin. It's just an amazing spice mixture. So go in with that spice mixture, lid on lid on, and then you wanna waz that up until it's nice and thick and creamy and all broken down and delicious. Plug this in, because apparently you need to do that. So once you've got the marinade all ready to go, we just wanna mix this chicken, these chicken drumsticks in the marinade, give it a nice kind of massage, make sure every nook and cranny is completely coated with the marinade, and that's gonna get covered with plastic wrap, put that in the fridge overnight, but really as long as you can stand it, you know, a minimum of about 12 hours to take in all those spices and get broken down, and then we're gonna crack on with the next step. Okay, so this chicken has been doing its thing, marinating in the fridge overnight. So we've got our Traeger grill all preheated and ready to go. It's at 400 degrees right now. We're gonna bang this chicken on the grill somewhere between 40, 45 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. And really, you're looking for an internal temperature of 165 degrees. When you've reached that, you're all set. You can pull the chicken off and we'll move on to the next step. Y'all, I cannot tell you how incredible that this smells. It's crispy, fragrant, super delicious. I cannot wait to tuck in. The last thing really we're gonna do, I plated up a few of them here just as kind of a single serving. We're gonna hit this with a little bit of fresh lime juice. Just beautiful, helps to bring out those flavors. A Little bit of green onions on top for freshness. We've got some nice red chilies here for a little bit of heat. We're gonna hit it with some yogurt. Yogurt really helps to kind of cut that heat and it's really delicious. I'm just gonna put that on the side here. Nice for dipping. And then lastly, we're gonna hit it with fresh cilantro and then we're ready to eat. Hot damn, y'all. Seriously, can we just take a second? This is legitimately one of my favorite chicken recipes ever. Super delicious, spicy, fragrant, arom all those words. It's beautiful. You need to make this recipe and you get all the smoke and the the heat and the awesomeness from the grill. Your friends and family will love this recipe. As always, if you want any of the exact ingredients and measurements and all that great stuff, hit the link below to go to my website. If you're not subscribed already, I would love you to be part of this community. So hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next week for more deliciousness.